The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 276 pounds, Baldwin D. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. This is what it's all about. Two competitors going head to head to decide which one is truly the best. And his opponent, from the other side of darkness, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kelvin Cruz. The anticipation for the singles match has this capacity crowd on its feet. I'm not, I'm still sitting, but I, I will stand up. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I. Based on the electricity that traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Uh -huh, bring on the fireworks because this WWE party has officially begun. It's go time, people. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight. Will he tap out? Is he going to submit to the Omar? Whoa! And he fights his way out. So damaging. going to win many matches with that move. Two. Watch it! And he powers out. Three. He's starting to stagger a bit. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Well, Michael, he certainly thinks he'll have better success outside the ring than in it. We'll see if that holds true. You said it, John. And I'm a little surprised he spent so much time outside the ring thus far. Justin, jeez. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. He's starting to stumble here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this tight. What a match. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees the belt, he likes to hit below it. Uh-oh, look at this! He's not looking good here. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Yeah, but even more concerning is the fact that his finisher has failed to put his opponent away on two separate occasions. 
Well, we've seen ego get in the way of common sense so many times in the past. And that may be just what we're witnessing here tonight. Oh, this isn't good. Great reversal. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Oh, look out here. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. He's looking a little weary here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. And Michael, if what we've seen so far is any indication of what's to come, I fully expect him to go for that finish in again the next time he sees an opening. That's a good point. But you have to remember, this guy has absolutely no quitting. And he goes for the pin. There's the count. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. He saw that one coming. 